Behind me is Wildwood Elementary School. This is where I spent the first seven years of schooling of my life. Times were good at Wildwood. I worked my way up the ranks and became a trusted member of the society in Westland, Michigan. At the start of sixth grade, there were two extracurricular programs, which were called the Safeties and the Service Squad. Service Squad was more designated for females. You'd be cleaning up in the cafeteria, holding doors open within the school. The Safeties was a program which is coveted by the males and mostly the sixth graders. To be a safety, you'd be in charge of making sure no kids were killed while crossing intersections like this. This is one of my posts. Of my crew of safeties, it was all male, seven in total. We were responsible for getting to school 30 minutes before it starts and staying 30 minutes after it ends to make sure everybody crosses the streets safely. We'd stand there with our arms out. We had a job and we did our job. For the first half of the year, I was the captain of the safeties. The benefit of extending my school day and saving lives was the occasional cup of hot chocolate on only the coldest of days. We did it for the love of the school, for the safety of the individuals. Second half of the year started, the instructor of the safeties, a female teacher, said, you did a great job, Jeff, but all good things must come to an end. We're appointing Kim, a fifth grade girl, as captain of the safeties. I was demoted. I asked her if I did anything wrong. She said no. It's just her time to become the captain because she needs a fair chance. We had a guy the first half. Now it's time for a girl. She's not qualified. We're putting lives at risk. You have no idea how to defend a nation. You put people's lives in danger. By demoting me, this is unacceptable. The only recourse I could think of was strike with the rest of the safeties. I got everybody off the squad and she was left squadless with a few girls from the service squad to ensure the safety of all the kids, kindergarten through sixth grade that had to get to school safely in the morning and in the afternoon. This is the day I realized that affirmative action is a thing and sexual equality is a farce. I know people are going to get triggered by this, but this is the reality. They put a less qualified individual on the corners to take care of people when it was not needed at all. You put people's lives in danger. I'll never forget this moment. It was a big turning point in my life. Let's not even talk about how I got denied entrance into University of Michigan Ann Arbor because I was a white male, but I got admitted to University of Michigan Dearborn. Affirmative action is a thing. Racial inequality, sexual inequality, gender bias, unacceptable in today's society, but yet it happened almost 25 years ago. Never forget. And there you have it. Reporting from Wildwood Elementary School in Westland, Michigan, this is Jeff Boski. Penn Station, home of the East Coast Subs. What's up, man? I'll <laughs> see you, buddy. See you, man. How you been? Good, good. Whatever you want. We got a Simmons. Good to see you. Uh, how are you, Mike? <laughs> That's real questionable, bro. Looks kind of small. Looks real small. Doesn't look. Where's the meats? Right. Did I have all the meats? Yeah. Philly cheesesteak. Large fresh cut fries. Fresh squeezed lemonade. So, what are the Detroit casinos like? Well, I'll tell you, dude, they are not anything like Las Vegas. They do not give a f about you, the player, the player's boyfriend or girlfriend. There are no free watermelon juices down here. You are 100% on your own. No chip runners, no buying chips at the table. F you, good luck. Give me my rig. Are the white Russians comped? Negative.
And we have arrived at the Motor City Casino in Detroit, Michigan. I got an inside tip that on the 1st and the 15th of every month is when the games are the most lucrative. No idea why those dates are relevant. Today is the 14th, so this is probably not the best day to be here. It is what it is. Let's get that money. One, two, two, five, no limit. Let's see what we can hop into. Seat open? No. Somebody come in this oh. part. We arrive at Motor City Casino and we immediately get a seat in the one, two, no limit hold'em, pot limit Omaha, round by round cash game, a very rare occurrence. So uh, I sit down with my buddy Derek and we're in the action. Can I take this seat, Can I take his seat No doubt. No doubt, sir. How the hell are you doing? Two dollars. Fold for a few orbits, pretty card dead. Win a few small pots. Max buy-in is 300, we're in for 300. We're playing Pot Limit Omaha and we have the King Jack 10-9, clubs and spades. Beautiful hand to limp under the gun. Might back raise if there's some dead money, but that's probably uh, not needed. Four limpers, the flop comes. 10-10-9. Rainbow, beautiful. I bet five dollars. The guy to my left makes it ten dollars. A uh, guy who's already rebought for five times in a, under an hour puts in the flat call in the small blind. So I, I think we can go either way here with a call or a re-raise. We do want to build the pot and charge draws and the one remaining 10x combo. And we want to get it in versus pocket nines, of course. So I make it $35. Guy who made it 10 didn't realize that I bet five and gets all mad and tilt calls the 35. Guy in the small blind says it and shoves all in for $150. Pretty easy decision here. We put in the flat call, other guy folds. We're up against queen 10, five deuce. The turn is a six and the river is a three and we bust a player. Ooh, we quarter the call, huh? He quickly rebuys, table's pretty juicy, rake's pretty high with a $2 bad beat drop, and we're now sitting on $600 from our $300 buy-in. Feeling good. I love being home in Detroit. The VIP raises in early position. We look down at the nut worst pocket aces, but it's still good enough to isolate. We want to get this heads up, and he has a very short stack, so we pot it to 36. Flop comes pretty wet. We put him in, he has two pair, and it holds. 20? They're all good. 11 bucks. Table seven. W, one, two, round by round. Jeff here, Jeff. This is a round by round. Round by round. Oh, they know what they're doing. Oh, it's just to see where. Uh, one, 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 Chop down with one Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna chop this one. Okay. You go all in, and I catch mine, yeah, I'm happy. The thing is, we're playing ball tomorrow. Now we can win again. We're gonna slice them out, man. 
They every all year they are one. That what they do. One one. I have a good one too. In for 300, out for 550, nice little profit. Let's go to MGM Detroit.